Hi, welcome to RV Reviews, Upgrades, and Repairs. Uh, today, I believe it's going to be the fifth episode, and I'm doing a two-part series tour of our uh, RV, which is a 2013 Jayco J Flight. And then when I complete the tour part, then I'm going to show you how I configure it for travel since uh, I've been in the middle of uh, getting things ready all afternoon today and uh, for our trip that we're leaving on or about uh, December 26th so anyway uh, just uh, bear with me again like I said I am still new and I'm kind of fumbling through but it's getting a little bit easier for me and I'm a little bit less camera shy or voice shy so but to start out this is a rear living room model, so what you're looking at is obviously the back part of the camper. I've got uh, two swivel rockers and uh, a little ottoman that I'd picked up at uh, Walmart that's got a little extra storage into it. Uh, the slide out is obviously out and uh, towards the back there is the scissor uh, couch which folds out into a bed and then of course the windows and then as I pan back over to the left you'll see the rear entrance which is our primary door uh, we've got our kitchen cabinets nothing really fantastic about or unusual about you know what we've got in our uh, camper as far as uh, features or cabinetry this is basically stock uh, as you look back towards the back corner there, and here, let me get up and I can kind of show you a little bit more. But, uh, as we get back here, basically, uh, on, uh, work with this gimbal here, there we go. Okay, uh, as I said, I got the back door here. What we've got is we've got like three hooks or some uh, four hooks set up there. Uh, I've got a hook set for the dog leash. I've got one for the umbrella. I've got another one set for uh, um, Marilyn's purse. And then I also have one which is a little small one in the center for a hanging flashlight. So one we have to take Chester out. So... He's being a little fussy today, so he's uh, out in the yard. He didn't want to come back into the camper. This particular cam camper doesn't have a lot of good uh, storage space as far as drawers, and that's one of the things we're rather disappointed in. But we're kind of making do. Uh, the bottom drawers, we've got just, uh, you know, bowls, uh, storage bags, um, some extra paper plates, uh, casserole dishes down there, and then on the very bottom one, we have like pots and pans. And so, frying pans, what we've learned works real well. If I just put them inside the oven, and you know, they really work well in there. I don't have a problem with it, uh, with them, with the oven popping open. Uh, even with my cast iron skillet, I think what I may do though, just to kind of help things a little bit more, a little safer or more secure, is I'll probably put a bungee over that. So, uh, the other drawer, which is the only other drawer we really have, letting you know all of our little secrets here, would be our silverware drawers. So, obviously, we make sure we don't have anything that we really don't need underneath the sink. Of course, is uh, we have a little waste basket, paper towels, and some cleaning supplies. Now we do have the microwave, pretty much like anybody else's microwave that you'll find. Uh, uh, it's a stock microwave, although I did have to replace this uh, this summer after we had a storm that uh, shorted it out, which uh, it went in rather easily. Just uh, a few screws and a plug, and that's about all there was to it. Uh, refrigerator, freezer, uh, nor code, pretty much, uh, you know, the run of the mill, which you normally find, uh, you know, in the RVs. And so, 
this one's either gas or electric and so I did have to replace the uh, the electric thermostat on it because uh, that was shorted out during that same storm uh, it would run off of propane but it wouldn't run uh, or it wouldn't fire up or run off electric it just constantly refer or defer back to the gas so like it wasn't even getting anything uh, the last of the cabinets that we have let me step back here so you can see it better is we've got uh, the pantry uh, these are more than spacious uh, I can open this up here of course it looks big because they're empty uh, we haven't started filling it up for our trip south yet but uh, again we've got the tension bars which keeps everything in so that's uh, the top set and then also we have the bottom set there as well uh, we don't use Charmin by the way uh, I don't know why we've got that in here I think she probably bought it for the house and we end up uh, putting the Charmin out here by mistake and Sorry, it's kind of dark in here right now as far as with the lighting. There we go. It's a little bit better. But uh, uh, storage cabinets, I have a lot of storage cabinets, which uh, we make uh, very good use of. Uh, one of the things that we use all the time, too, is that little rolling cart. And that seems to be the perfect place for it. All I have that's stuck in the cabinets behind it would be... Uh, uh, DVDs which we don't really watch that much but we do have them so that's a good place to keep them besides keeps it out of the living room uh, makes the living room look a little bit uh, cleaner at that uh, behind the little small door there that's where uh, the antenna connection is as well as uh, I've got a, a electrical connections and an antenna um, tuner in there so but uh, nothing really fancy, and of course the radio. So now top top doors, uh, little family secrets. We have adult beverages up there. No, we're not real heavy drinkers. We just happen to have, you know, several different kinds that we use occasionally, especially when we're at a campsite and uh, socializing. I always keep the little uh, retainers up there, the, the tension bars. That kind of keeps everything from falling out, but I have not had a problem with it. At first, I used to um, wire tie everything together, all the doors. And uh, I found after the first couple of trips, I felt pretty comfortable and I didn't have to do that anymore. So now I just keep, you know, I'll put the, the tension bars in. And then uh, I keep those in uh, until I'm done traveling. And in fact, that cabinet, I keep them in all the time. So in uh, the top, other top cabinet here, uh, we've just got uh, some towels. I got some uh, lanterns in there, flash, you know, lights, uh, you know, plastic bags until I figure out what else I want to put in there. Bottom one, uh, a little bit more storage. One of the things I do, those are all uh, the tension bars that uh, we use in, inside the refrigerator. So since when we're in a parked uh, spot for a long period of time, I pull those out and that's where I hang them. That way they're not, uh, you know, in the way. And I've just used, again, a couple of command hooks. And then I've got a real heavy duty rubber band that stretch across that keeps them from, you know, flopping around. Uh, got a little extra cord in there, an extra bungee cord, some spare spot, you know, uh, storage boxes. Uh, a lot of times we'll hang um, uh, the bag of uh, trash bags in there or whatever. So There is some storage underneath the bottom of the uh, camper or underneath the bottom of the booth. Uh, we normally keep some extra pillows down there. Uh, I've got a six gallon water jug down there for when we get ready to leave I've got that already filled up and then uh, you know it'll stay safe there and so for the few nights that we're going to be boondocking uh, it'll be easy to get to it's just going to be used primarily for drinking water anyway looking over to the couch area from the door is I've got 
Again, two cabinets over the top. Turn some light on the subject. It might be too much. But I've tried to get things a little organized. Uh, what I've got is uh, I've got a container for all my uh, manuals. Uh, plus I have a book that I have set up especially just for uh, the, the camper. And that's got all my uh, pertinent information, receipts, uh, any kind of repairs I've done to it, uh, as well as the receipt when I bought it. And it's got some other specifications on the camper in general. Uh, I have another uh, another little box or storage box. That one I use quite often. That's adhesives and hooks. Uh, that's for my command strips. I have duct tape, which is something that everybody should have. And uh, also... I've got another little container, which I'm kind of stuck it in there for right now. But basically, that just has like uh, cooking gloves for when I'm grilling. They're uh, rubber gloves and liners. That keeps uh, my hands from getting overheated or from burning my fingers or hands while I'm handling like uh, ribs or whatever. Uh, one of the things I've just added on to it, as you'll see over here, is uh, I've got a new uh, indoor-outdoor uh, thermometer slash barometer. Uh, it's hooked up through Wi-Fi, uh, but however, right now, the Wi-Fi isn't very good back in uh, the camper from my house because I've got too many buildings in the way, and I've got to do something about the antenna. But anyway, so that's not showing up right now, but when the Wi-Fi is working, it does uh, work rather well. Now, the three cabinets that I have over the uh, back swivel chairs, uh, that I use primarily for, well, of course, because Marilyn isn't as tall as I am. And uh, it's just things that I usually keep in there and things that I'll be getting at. Uh, one of the things to give her more room uh, in the closet up front is I've got all my uh, sandals and shoes. And... Uh, since I don't use them all that much and I can only wear one, one pair at a time, I have them just a, so uh, you know just uh, labeled and stacked the way I would probably need them. So um, anyway, it's just someplace where I know where they're at and I can kind of keep them off the floor. One of the other things that we do, we've got when we travel, I've got uh, our toaster back there, and then I also have a coffee maker stuff back there in the corner. The reason it's way bit in the back corner is that I've got a new stainless steel uh, coffee pot that I'd rather make my coffee with. Uh, that little box there on the right, uh, my daughter had given me a uh, s'more kit and so we can't take that with us whenever we go camping. And so now in the kitchen area and so two cabinets Nothing really fancy on it. Sorry for the jiggling there. And it's a little bit... There we go. Um, just so we could have things a little bit better organized, I've got as many spices as I can up on the interior doors. i got those little spice jar uh, strips. And uh, that works real well. I'm kind of surprised. Uh, we found that in the kitchen and the... Uh, in the uh, house we have a little problem with it and so it looks like they have one here it comes loose there we go but uh, anyway uh, they work rather well because I've got them kind of organized the way we would use them a lot of stuff for grilling uh, things that we use more commonly uh, of course salt and pepper right there on the left where either one of us can get our hands on to it on the top shelf I've got a few other spices uh, I'm a big fan of the Weber seasonings, and I use especially the uh, gourmet steak, uh, the gourmet burger, kicking chicken, and the Louisiana seasoning, which is really good. So, But uh, then on the uh, bottom shelf, uh, we've got mostly like stuff that either one of us can reach rather you know, easily. Uh, plates, saucers, or salad plates, I should say, bowls, cups glasses. Uh, I've got some thermal glasses up there in the top. If I don't really need it that much, I put it up on the top shelf. On the other stuff that we use more commonly, 
common sense, you always put it on the bottom. So the TV is a 32-inch Samsung Smart TV. I'm real fond of Samsung. So basically, since I've been in that kind of business or in the retail business, and I found Samsung to be one of the more reliable brands. But uh, I've got uh, a Samsung 32-inch Smart TV, and what's nice about that is that I can uh, mirror image anything that I've got on my phone. I can also, uh, I've got uh, the Samsung uh, Blu-ray player. Uh, of course, my remote and that I keep just velcro right on the counter. You really can't see it very well. But I keep that velcro on the counter when we're traveling. And I don't have any problems with it falling off. Same thing that goes with the Blu-ray pl player. There you can see it a little bit better. And so make it a little bit neater. And then I put a power strip behind uh, the bottom down there. And that's where I've got everything plugged in, kind of keeps things uh, kind of nice and neat. And then my mo I also have uh, my uh, antenna that uh, I use. Uh, I've got that plugged directly into the TV, and so it kind of makes it nice or easy when I'm doing, um, you know, we're watching uh, anything that's online. Uh, and so we're not using the phone as a YouTube, you know, or for uh, as you know for the mirror image. Also got a jet pack. That I only I only do that by the month, and uh, you know, and then when it's all done for the month, I just let it expire, and then the next time I want to use that contact Verizon, and I just put whatever I think I want to put onto it for that period of time. So my most recent thing that I've just added was the digital. Uh, a controller for my heat furnace and air conditioner. Uh, we had the old kind that you just had the little slide rack or a slide button and which is very inaccurate. This and I've had this on all afternoon it's been working great. It even works well with the air conditioner and so even though it's like 32 degrees outside I did make sure that it was running and working all right. So that's going to be kind of nice, so it's, at least we have something a little bit more accurate as far as uh, heat and cold, you know, cold air control. Now, since obviously the living room's in the back, we have the bedroom in the front. So, uh, uh, got plugs on both sides of the bed. That way, you know, we can uh, have some place to charge our uh, our phones. You know, when we're in bed at night. I also have another little. Uh, yeah, it's a marine style uh, cup holder and I can fold that down and I can put my bottle of water that I always have with me at night. And then I have the uh, Amazon remote control uh, so when I do have Wi-Fi I can uh, you know, kind of control the TV or watch the TV with that. So Marilyn doesn't mess too much with that so she kind of leaves that up to me as far as that. Other, other than that we still have the regular remote control. In the storage cabinets, I try to keep like my long sleeve shirts. Uh, I've got so socks and belts, t-shirts. Those are stuff that when I'm down in Florida, I'm not using them very much. Uh, up in the top, uh, I'll have, you know, like I've got some sweatshirts and I've got like uh, running shorts. And then also stuff that I sleep in, uh, which would be like the running shorts or the long running uh, exercise pants. And then keep my regular shorts right up there on top. So mostly if I'm going to be using, you know, wearing them more frequently, it stays on the left side. Because because of the that particular window next to that closet. That door doesn't open up very far. I mean, it's kind of a design problem that uh, Jayco did, and I'm not real happy with it. But if I'm not going to be wearing it that much, it's a good place to keep it. As far as this one on this side, this is where I keep uh, all my short, short sleeve shirts, uh, stuff that I wear a little bit more frequently. You also have a little... Uh, 
access uh, door and that goes into our storage compartment in the front of the camper and also underneath the bottom of the bed which like any other camper I usually have some storage on there. Now this does have a slide out that holds the large two-door vanity and it also has the linen closet that's in the bathroom so Marilyn has that uh, since she's got a lot more clothes and also because they're she's shorter so it's easier for her to reach it now we've got another 32 inch Samsung TV this one's not a smart TV that's why I've got the Amazon fire stick on the back of it but uh, that way I can kind of get my uh, shows our streamlined shows off of TV or off of the internet but uh, I've got that mounted on the wall uh, and I don't have it secured and the reason I don't have it secured and I'll show you when I configure the camper for travel but uh, it just makes it easier just to lift it off and lay it down on the bed uh, I've got it set so I'll just I got all my wires all tied together and so I just uh, unscrew the antenna pull the plugs and then just lay it down and so this TV uh, was originally in the front of the camper and that's what came with it and since I had so many TVs TVs and we downsized um, from uh, our house in Grand Rapids to our cabin up in Nuevo that uh, I had an extra TV and so it worked out real well. I just threw the 32 inch smart TV in the front. I don't really see too well but this is the bathroom. Uh, again more command hooks. Uh, I'll put like if I'm taking a shower or whatever I'll put the clothes that I'm going to be putting on. I'll hang them right up on that. Uh, I've got another little hook for hanging up like night clothes or towels and then uh, down here in front of us or actually right the vanity which is right next not the vanity but the, the linen closet that's right next to the vanity and this is all part of the slide and so we're not totally level here since we don't normally stay in this thing when we're parked here at the house but that's where we keep all of our towels and some extra medicine drug medicines and that sort of thing uh, shower you know the sink nothing really unusual about that uh, we have the bath towel I usually Marilyn keeps hers there and then I just string mine over the top of the shower up there at the top there so but uh, uh, you can see I've got the oxygenics shower head this is we replaced that right after we got it we're, we're very glad we did so uh, it works real well we have a lot of good pressure without using a lot of water uh, just a little hook I put uh, over the top of the water faucets or the water controls knobs and that's just for my uh, shaver so, and then we keep the basket inside here uh, and that's where we throw our dirty clothes or whatever and also when we're traveling we'll throw a couple things in there now the way I configure the bedroom is I take that little roller cart that's got all the drawers in it and that we keep things into it's usually out in the uh, kitchen living room area that goes nicely right between the bed and uh, Marilyn's side of the wall there and so then I pull the TV off and I just simply lay it down on the bed and I use Two of our pillows on uh, the top and the side and the other two pillows which are normally out in the living room in the dinette those go over and uh, they protect the other part of it it has never slid they have never moved an inch but uh, it's just a little bit of added uh, peace of mind uh, the remote control I just stick it down there underneath the pillow and so I always know where it's at uh, I'm not going to bring in this other slide right now and that's basically because it doesn't have a slide cover over that slide I've got a slide cover over the main slide but not over the little small slide 
and so there's snow up there and I don't want it to get all jammed up uh, or compressed so it could possibly leak inside the camper. Now you can see on the back of the TV uh, that's so those are the brackets that uh, it mounts on the wall with and so they just uh, there's just hooks and uh, there's double hooks on each side and they just mount onto the track and that track Let's see if I can bring this thing up where it belongs, so you can see the track. And there's a tandy dandy little track. So, uh, and so that just stays right there. And then when I get ready to put the TV back on, I just lift it up. It's relatively light, and I can just hang it on the on the track and uh, plug it in. And so it's just easy peasy, just like that. And so in the bathroom. What we've got there is we have to make sure that the door is, is snapped shut. That way it doesn't slide back and forth. But the uh, uh, vanity and uh, um, linen closet comes in and I'll probably get about, oh, that close to uh, the door. So uh, I can still get in, the, in and out of the bathroom if I need be through the back door or the front door that's located in the in the front be in the bedroom so failed to mention that I have a couple of heaters as well uh, that is I've got uh, the little buddy heater uh, we've used that uh, when we were down in Kokomo last year it was about seven degrees below zero at night so that turned out to be rather helpful and I was a little nervous as far as how much propane I was going to be using on uh, the camper and I didn't really want to run my battery down or uh, use up all my propane so you can see I've got the one chair on the right I've got that turned sideways and I've got that prepped and getting ready to uh, bring in the slide the heaters by the way I use they just you know of course unplug them and stick them behind the chair. Uh, the chair on the left, I also have my uh, tools. Uh, I've got a, lar a large thing of uh, uh, socket wrenches uh, and as well as uh, open end wrenches, screwdrivers, hammers, just the basic necessities. It's all part of a kit and it fits right back there in a flat container. I also have a little small four foot table that unfolds and when we get to the campsite. I'll put that's where I'll uh, pull that out from and stick that outside by uh, underneath the canopy. So, uh, as far as getting ready to bring it in, uh, very simple to do. I've already tested it, so I made sure that I didn't have uh, any obstacles in the way, and that it's all set to, you know to slide in. Uh, I've got the shade pulled down because I've already made sure that everything's off off the top, and you, there's nothing really to see out there anyway. So I'll go ahead and I'll bring in the slide, so which comes in rather nicely. The important thing is just to make sure that I've got the chair turned uh, enough so that the um, slide clears it, and then also back in the back you know of course I have the door shut nothing's going to slide out of it anyway and it goes ahead and close up I'm going to go ahead and run the slide back out since I'm still working out here a little bit and we're going to be in and out of the, the camper from time to time um, I know uh, I do plan on once I get everything configured on the inside and ready to go I'm going to be moving the camper over you know off the dirt that's uh, on the one side of my uh, driveway and I'm going to put it more centered on the driveway so you know I can have a little bit better egress when I pull out because I'm going to have a lot more snow than what I have right now so it's going to make it a little bit rougher so as you can see, everything else is right back to normal, and so uh, that pretty much kind of closes things out. Uh, I apologize again for the uh, 
hesitations and a little bit of shakiness here. Uh, seems like the, the gimbal kind of controlled me more than I controlled that. But, yeah, I'll deal with that and then I'll get better eventually with it. So I'm still kind of playing with the thing. So, but uh, that could even be another review is just that one little gimbal. But uh, that's not really an upgrade to the camper, but eh, who knows, maybe. But uh, thanks for watching and uh, make sure you uh, click uh, the thumbs up if you like the video and if uh, uh, you haven't already click subscribe I'd appreciate that and of course leave any kind of comments you know whether pro or con or whatever you'd like about it so if you got questions let me know if you got suggestions I'm pretty good as far as taking suggestions uh, I've been married long enough so yeah Make sure you have yourself a good Thanksgiving because I'm sure I won't be doing another one before then. Have a good day.